total knee replacements are done hundreds of thousands of times a year, but in the rare case where something goes wrong, it can be devastating. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us now of a woman who almost lost her leg after knee surgery. Thankfully, though, doctors saved it. He's here with the story. Max? Yeah, that's right, Christine. An infected knee or hip replacement is a disaster. The prosthesis has to be removed, leaving a pretty useless leg for weeks or months before another joint can be put in. If the infection or other complications get really bad, it takes heroic measures to save the leg. Doctors in hospitals go to great lengths to prevent infection and total joint replacements. Surgeons wear special spacesuits, scrub themselves and your skin with germ killing solutions. But sometimes that's not enough. Hazel Atkinson was in a serious car accident that broke both her legs. She ended up with one total knee replacement that eventually loosened and got infected. Several doctors in the hospital said that it was time to give up and amputate, your leg. amputate my leg, yes. <laughs> it still brings tears. <laughs> Sorry. But Hazel found Dr. Nakul Karkari, who was willing to try to save her leg. Normally, that means taking out the artificial joint and placing special antibiotic impregnated spacers. But there's no commercially available spacer which can be put in a knee after removing a huge implant. So Dr. Karkari fashioned a custom implant using large amounts of antibiotic cement, then replaced it with a huge knee implant normally used in bone cancer patients. Here's what a normal knee replacement looks like, just caps on the femur and tibia. And here's what that normal replacement looks like next to Hazel's new knee. The amputation was a possibility uh, because uh, the nerves and the blood vessels are all entrapped in the scar tissue around the knee joint. But just a couple of years later, Hazel is not only walking normally, she went to China and walked the Great Wall, all without a cane or walker. I play with my grandson. <laughs> I love it. Now, Hazel still has to take antibiotics because even a dental procedure or a small skin infection can release bacteria that can take root and colonize her new implant. But that's not unlike regular joint replacement patients. But she told me that's a small price to pay for saving her leg. And by the way, the, the first sign of an infection is usually pain. Sometimes you'll have pain anyway, but then the doctor has to look and see whether that's an infection that might be setting in. Imagine how she feels after you heard her say, they were going to remove my leg. They were going to take her leg off. I mean, she's still good. This is years later, and she still gets choked up just thinking about it. How can you yeah. not? Yeah, really. All right, Dr. Max, thank you.